so now in this video we'll be doing about the effects of uh, water on rock salts during precolation and then uh, these are the reasons why the underground water becomes unfit for drinking in the end so the first one is dissolution as the name suggests in case there are salts like calcium sulfate sodium chloride magnesium sulfate and various other salts in case it is present around the area where precolation of water takes place these salts will have the capability to dissolve in water so now and then the, again there is a huge uh, chemistry behind this dissolution of salts in water the the temperature of the water must be perfect and the surrounding areas must be perfect all those things can be will be discussed later so in all the conditions are satisfied these salts will dissolve in the water after these salts dissolve in water obviously the salt becomes unfit for drinking it should undergo various treatments this is the first effect of uh, precolation of water through stones and the other salts as well next one is hydration so what is hydration hydration is supposed to be an exclusive property possessed by water as the name of the process suggests so when you take this uh, when you when when the water precolates uh, through the stones it comes across a lot of salts so when hydration takes place this salt will become a hydrated salt and this hydrated salt will definitely make the water impure that is true and apart from that it has an it has an adverse effect on the stones it causes disintegration of all the rocks and this disintegration of the rocks due to its adverse effect on the stones will lead uh, will make the rocks break into pieces and these minute pieces will again have a lot of chemicals it is a mixture of chemicals and all these things will combine with the water in the end so underground water is in the end impure so now let's just write an equation to explain hydration which is obviously a very very simple equation so now let's take the most predominant salt calcium sulfate and then it reacts with two units of water and then it gives s c a s o 4 dot 2 h o which is a hydrated salt and this hydrated salt will have will disintegrate the rocks pieces of rocks will mix with water again a lot of chemicals will be present in the water it is imp uh, it's impure unfit for consumption next is something but effect of carbon dioxide and water so now water is supposed to be coming from various sources it can be river rain various sources it comes from and it precolates through the stones you might be wondering where carbon dioxide is from the carbon dioxide is first it is present in air that is a very important source and obviously it is present in underground as well because while mining many miners will have problems like asphyxiation asthma or many breathing issues that is because of the high content of carbon and the oxides of carbon since the contents of these substances are very very high the effect of carbon dioxide and water on the salts present will lead to certain adverse effects we will discuss what it is the most predominant salt which is present in most all the types of uh, rocks all the stones that we know is calcium carbonate what is calcium carbonate calcium carbonate uh, trivial name or common name is limestone so when this limestone Re, uh, reacts with carbon dioxide already present in air and then present in the underground and the water that precolates you will be getting a soluble salt which is known as calcium hydrogen carbonate or calcium bicarbonate calcium hydrogen carbonate or calcium bicarbonate is formed and this is supposed to be the salt which is formed in the end is supposed to be completely soluble so since this salt is completely soluble it dissolves in water and then it causes a type of hardness which is known as temporary hardness in the next video we'll be discussing about what hardness is and what the types of hardnesses are so and there are various treatments which this water must undergo so that the hardness is removed and is fit for consumption usage in any field for the matter so uh, carbon dioxide in water will again have adverse effects on the salts because it this salts will react with carbon dioxide and water the salts which are already present will react with carbon dioxide and water it will end up forming soluble salts and these soluble salts will make the water impure it makes the water hard so the water must undergo various treatments so that it can be used for various other purposes so next one is nothing but oxidation and hydration uh, of iron salts if present so now look at the condition if present only so now the water that precolates through the stones has a dissolved amount of oxygen just not the water which precolates the water that we use in day to day life the water that we drink day to in day to day life all the waters that we use will have some dissolved amount of oxygen this dissolved amount of oxygen will act as an oxidizing agent and then it oxidizes the iron salts into one more certain form and then the water uses its own property of hydration to form a hydrated salt this hydrated salt will obviously pollute the water because it is a chemical that is true apart from that it will have a disintegrating effect as i have explained here 
all uh, hydrated salts will are very strong so it will have a disintegrating effect on the rocks as well so now let's just write the equation so the the salt which we expect uh, to be present around in and around the place where the rocks are present is f e 3 o 4 i hope it's clear f e 3 o 4 and then afterwards uh, oxidation takes place and after oxidation takes place due to the dissolved amount of oxygen which is already present it forms f e 2 o 3 okay and because oxidation has taken place so the valency of ion has changed and then afterwards hydration so well, you know what hydration is we have already discussed there again after hydration it forms fe 2 3 dot 2 h 2 o it forms fe 2 3 dot 2 h 2 o and this salt is supposed to be the hydrated salt and then this hydrated salt will have an adverse effect so uh, these are the various effects of precolation of water through stones as well as salts so the next video will be doing about the types of hardness and what hardness actually is Thank you so much.